It's the same thing your whole life. Clean up your room, stand up straight, pick up your feet, take it like a man. Be nice to your sister. Don't mix beer and wine, ever. Oh, yeah. Don't drive on the railroad track. Well, Phil, that's one I happen to agree with. Hey, Phil? Phil? Phil Connors? Phil Connors, I thought that was you. Hi, uh, how you doing? Thanks for watching. Hey, hey. Now, don't you tell me you don't remember me, because I sure as heck fire remember you. Not a chance. <laughs> Ned! Ryerson! Needle nose Ned, Ned the head. Come on, buddy. Case Western High. Ned Ryerson, I did the whistling belly button trick at the high school talent show. Bing! Ned Ryerson got the shingles real bad senior year, almost didn't graduate. Bing! Again! Ned Ryerson, I dated your sister Mary Pat a couple times till you told me not to anymore. Well? Ned Ryerson? Bing! Bing! Off to see the groundhog? Yeah. I think it'll be an early spring. <laughs> Didn't we do this yesterday? I don't know what you mean. No. <gasps> don't mess with me, pork chop. <sighs> what day is this? It's February 2nd. Groundhog Day. Yeah. Sorry. You know, I thought it was yesterday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> What if there were no tomorrow? No tomorrow. That would mean there would be no consequences. There would be no hangovers. We could do whatever we wanted. Ah! That's true. We could do whatever we want. Ah! Hey, Phil, if we wanted to hit mailboxes, we could let Ralph drive. <laughs> yeah. I think they want you to stop. Hang on. It's the same thing your whole life. Clean up your room, stand up straight, pick up your feet, take it like a man. Be nice to your sister. Don't mix beer and wine, ever. Oh, yeah. Don't drive on the railroad track. Well, Phil, that's one I happen to agree with. Sometimes I think you just have to take the big chances. I'm betting he's gonna swear first. Don't you worry about cholesterol, lung cancer, love handles? I don't worry about anything anymore. What makes you so special? Everybody worries about something. Well, that's exactly what makes me so special. I don't even have to floss. Oh. What? The wretch, concentered all in self. Living shall forfeit fair renown, and doubly dying shall go down to the vile dust from whence he sprung, unwept, unhonored, and unsung, Sir Walter Scott. <laughs> what, you don't like poetry? I love poetry. I just thought that was Willard Scott. I was confused. <laughs> you think I'm acting like this because I'm egocentric? I know you're egocentric. It's your defining characteristic. Who is your perfect guy? Well, first of all, he's too humble to know he's perfect. That's me. He's intelligent, supportive, funny. Intelligent, supportive, funny. Me, me, me. He's romantic and courageous. 
me also. He's got a good body, but he doesn't have to look in the mirror every two minutes. I have a great body, and sometimes I go months without looking. <sighs> He's kind, sensitive, and gentle. He's not afraid to cry in front of me. This is a man we're talking about, right? He likes animals and children, and he'll change poopy diapers. Does he have to use the word poopy? You weren't uh, in broadcasting or journalism? Mm -mm. Believe it or not, I studied 19th century French poetry. <laughs> what a waste of time. I mean, for someone else, that would be an incredible waste of time. It's so bold of you to choose that. It's incredible. You must be a very, very strong person. I think people place too much emphasis on their careers. Gosh, I wish we could all live in the mountains, at high altitudes. That's where I see myself in five years. How about you? Oh, I agree. I just like to go with the flow. Yeah? See what happens. Well, it's gotten you here. Uh-huh. Of course, it's a million miles from where I started out in college. Oh, yeah? You weren't in broadcasting or journalism, anything like that? Uh-uh. Hmm. Believe it or not, I studied 19th century French poetry. La fille qui j'aimera sera comme bon fin. Que c'est bon fuira un peu chaque matin. You speak French. Oui. This is Gus. He hates his life here. He wishes he stayed in the Navy. Well, I could have retired on half pay after 20 years. Excuse me. Is this some kind of trick? Well, maybe the real God uses tricks. You know, maybe he's not omnipotent. He's just been around so long. He knows everything. Oh, okay. Well, who's that? This is Tom. He worked in the coal mine until they closed it down. And her? It's Alice. Came over here from Ireland when she was a baby. She lived in Erie most of her life. He's right. And her? Nancy. She works in the dress shop and makes noises like a chipmunk when she gets real excited. Hey! It's true. How do you know these people? I told you. I know everything. In about five seconds, a waiter's gonna drop a tray of dishes. Five, four, That's three, nuts. two, one. <laughs> Okay? Phil! Rita, hi. Hey, Lear. Hi. How's she look? Great. Thank you. Did you know he could ice sculpt? No. <laughs> Yes, but my father was a piano mover, so. It's it hard down there at the bottom. Here you go. Thank you. I'm getting cold. How much longer do I have to sit here? I'm just trying to give you your money's worth. You paid top dollar for me. Well, I think you were a bargain. Sweetie, to say. You're probably right. <laughs> Is it finished yet? Almost. I still have to put some cherry syrup on the top, and then we can eat it. Come on, Phil. I'm freezing. One second, one second. All right. Now, let me turn in the light. It's amazing. It's beautiful. 